So let's start off with a nice easy shoulder roll back. And again, nice and steady. Just feel that crunch crack creak going on. It's good. And then rolling forwards, go up and over. And again, lift. Fantastic, well done. One more. Now drop your chin to your chest. Roll forwards and down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, begin to unroll. All the way up to the top. And roll your shoulders back. Do that again. Chin to chest. Roll forward and down. Breathe in. Breathe out and unroll. Almost there. Roll your shoulders back. Take a deep breath in. Lift up. Link those fingers. Stretch as high as you can. Really big stretch up towards the ceiling. And then gently release. Give your shoulders a nice roll back. From there, take your feet apart. Soften through the knees. Take that deep breath in again. Stretch your hands really high. Fabulous. You should feel that stretch right to the bottom of the abdominal section all the way up. Do a slight lean to one side. Not too far. Just waking up those waist muscles. And bring it up to the top. And go the other way. Fantastic. And back to centre. Release those arms. Roll your shoulders back. And then take that twist side to side. Lift your back heel. Keep this twist going. Nice and steady. And then begin to lift the arms up a little bit. Wonderful. Well done. Do one more each way. I like this. I feel like a kid when I do this one. <laughs> and release. From there, place your thumbs into that sacroiliac joint. Gentle circle round through the pelvis and the hips and really just start to work round into those joints themselves. Keep that going, so round and round. Do one more this way and then change direction, go the other way round. You should be able to feel those joints moving underneath your thumbs as you're pressing there. Don't worry about putting too much pressure on, your body won't let you do that. Do four, three, two more. One more time, and release. Now bring one knee up and over, and the other knee. Now take the arms out to the side. We're doing that lovely walk down the road. <laughs> I reckon we should do this one day. Just walk down the road, doing this, and see how many people think we've lost the plot. <laughs> do four more, please. Four, three, two more times. One more. Now go the other way. So lift up and back to centre. In fact, I think this walk might be even better. And again, lift it up and round. Keep it going. Lift the nose. Brilliant. Two more. One more time. Now swing your right leg out and across. So keep the arms extended. Just do that move as wide or as far across as you feel comfortable. Keep it going. Do four. Three. Two more. Brilliant. Change legs. Bring that foot in. Do it again. Out to the side. Woo! And across. <laughs> Keep this going. Nice and steady. Lovely. Well done. Fantastic. Do two more here if you can. Whoops. One more. <laughs> and really. Give your legs a shake. And from there, bring your right foot up. So lift your right knee. Left hand is going to hold underneath that leg. Really stretch up through your spine as much as you can. Extend your arm forward and then begin to open it round to the side. If you don't want to turn your head, keep looking forwards. You'll still get that rotation. Fantastic, well done. And gently relax it down. Do the same thing with the other side. So lift the leg up, support your leg with your hand. Find your balance. I think I've left mine in the kitchen. Open that arm round. You know when you can sense that one of your days is just going to be a little bit hilarious. I think I'm having one of those days today. Keep it there for a few more seconds. Fantastic. Well done. Bring that arm all the way back to centre and relax it down. Roll your shoulders back. Fantastic. Well done. From there, bring yourself to the front of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Swing your right foot back. Big step back. Press your heel into the floor and extend up through your arms. So your torso isn't facing the side, it's facing that front leg. Extend up and hold it there. Press into that front knee. Keep 
holding nice and still. Make sure you breathe. Keep breathing nice and steady. Keep pressing into that front leg. Gently release your arms down and bring your back foot in. Do the same thing with the other leg. Take it all the way back. Turn the heel in so your toes are turned out slightly. Twist your torso straight in. Then up for your hands and push into that front knee. Fantastic, well done. Keep it here. Keep breathing, keep lifting up through the chest. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Keep holding here. Fantastic, well done. Gently circle those arms around and bring your feet in. Lift your arms again and sit into your hips. So you're pushing your bottom back and down and extending right to your fingertips. Keep it here. Keep extending up with those hands. Lift all the way up, stretch back slightly. Look towards your hands if you can. If that's too much on your neck, keep your head looking forwards. Go back into chair pose. Sit your hips back up. Extend the reach through those fingertips. There a little bit longer, take a deep breath in, lift all the way up, stretch it back, big reach, and then release your hands, roll your shoulders, drop your chin to your chest, roll forwards and down towards the floor, hold it here. Very gently, just sway your arms from one side to the other, release it through the lower back, keep your knees slightly soft, it makes it a little bit better on your body, and then bring your hands back to the floor, walk your feet back into a down dog. Pressing your heels towards the floor, you're going to paddle the heels. So bend one knee, the other knee. Oops, there went the glasses. <laughs> Keep that paddle going two more times on each side. And, and then press the heels down. Lift the tailbone, look towards your hands. Lift right up onto your tiptoes, right up as high as you can. Drop your knees down to the floor. Sit back very briefly, hold it there. And then from there, you're gonna walk your hands back in, bring yourself up to sitting, and swing your feet round to the front of you. However you do that is entirely up to you. So bring those feet all the way around to the front. Wriggle around, find the bones in your bum. And then bring your right knee towards your chest. So bring that knee in. Take the foot and pop it on top of the other leg. Now from there, using that opposite hand, lift the foot up and take the other hand through. Cradle that leg. First thing in the morning, it might stay here. That's fine. Do what your body can manage. So just supporting that leg like you're cradling a baby. Hold it there. I think this baby needs to see a doctor. It's green. <laughs> Keep it here. Lean back very slightly if you can. Keep holding for a few more seconds. Breathe in as you breathe out, gently release. Extend that leg down. Do the same thing on the other side. Bring the leg in, hold on to it, stop with. To the top of the other leg. Support that foot with your hand. Other hand goes through if you can, even if you're here to do this, that's fine. Cradle your leg in your arm and bring that leg in a little bit closer. Fantastic, well done. If you can lean back slightly, do so. Fantastic, well done. Keep it there for a couple more seconds. Up and then gently release. Extend that leg down, give your leg the wobble. Sit up tall, find the bones in your butt. Bring your right knee towards you again. Bring that leg in. Really sit up as tall as you can through your spine. Now hold that foot with the opposite hand. Gentle pressure down with the other hand, pressing down really gently. Sit tall and hold. Wonderful, well done. Keep it there. And then lift it up. Swap them over, so bring the foot just around to the side. Knees come in, lean onto the opposite hand. Now try and bring your knees together if they'll go. If they won't, don't force it. Then gentle pressure from that arm to lift you back up to upright. Keep it there. Then breathe in. As you breathe out, bring that foot round to the side. Doesn't matter how far round it goes. 
and lean towards the front foot. That's a good stretch. Keep it here for a few more seconds. And then take a deep breath in as you breathe out. Release, bring yourself up. Bring that foot all the way back in. Give it a squeeze towards you. Sit down. Do the same thing on the other side. So bring the knee in first. Give it a squeeze and sit nice and tall. And then when you're ready, hold the ankle with the opposite hand. Gentle press down with that arm. You don't need to really push down. Just extending the arm to straight is enough pressure. Keep it there. Well done. Gently release, bring that knee up, pop your hands over, bring the foot round to the side. Again, you will lean over to start with. Bring that foot in and then use your hands to gently bring yourself upright. Keep it here. Fantastic. If those knees will stay together, lovely. If they won't, allow them to sit slightly apart. Brilliant. From there, sweep it round to the side and lean towards your opposite foot. Keep it there for a few more seconds. And gently release. Bring that leg all the way back round. Give it a hug. Oh, we like our knees. And extend them up. Give them a wobble. And sit up again. Find the bones in your bum. Bring your feet towards you. Hold on to your toes, we're into bound angles. So rock your bottom forward slightly, so you're sitting right up as close to your feet as you can, and just straighten through your spine. Lift up tall. As you're doing this, you'll start to feel your legs stretching. If you want to bounce those knees slightly, that's fine. Just do it for a few seconds and then relax into it. So stay nice and tall. Lift your chin, lift your chest. Fabulous, well done. Keep it there. Now from there, you're going to extend one leg up towards the ceiling. Doesn't matter which leg, just hold on to that foot and extend it away. If you can't reach your foot, hold on to your leg and support wherever you need to. Anywhere you need to support is fine. Just extend one leg, hold it still. If you're juddering, don't worry, that's quite normal. Just stay there for a couple more seconds. Really try and lift up through the chip in the chest and the spine. Breathe in. As you breathe out, bring that foot in. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So hold on to the foot. Stand that leg up and away. Again, you'll always have one side that's more flexible than the other. And you'll know which one it is. Keep it there again. Lift up tall through your spine. And gently release. Bring that Hold on to your toes, gently pull yourself forwards and down just for a second. And then release, bring yourself back up. From there, bring your knees up, feet flat on the floor, lean back slightly. You want your feet fairly close to you, go into wipers. So one side and then the other. So as you're doing this, you're going to feel it all across the top hip as you rock over. Brilliant. Now take it to your right side, hold it there just for a second. Press that knee down onto the top of your foot, hold still. And then swap sides again, take it the other way. Big stretch. Fabulous, bring it back to the centre. Cross your feet, all place the soles of the feet together. Just hands onto your legs for support, straighten up through your spine as much as you can. Drop a circle with your torso, so go all the way round. They don't need to be massive. You haven't got to lean all the way back. Your body will find where you feel comfortable. What you're doing is mobilizing through the lower part of your back and your spine all around that joint where they meet. Do two more in this direction. One more time. And then go the other way. Take it all the way back. Wonderful. One more time here. I know it feels a bit crazy. Place the soles of your feet together again. Now this time, take the hands behind you. Squeeze your shoulders together and really straight them through your spine. Keep it there. 
out nice and still. And then gently release, bring your knees up, bring the knees together, rotate to one side, arm across, look over your shoulder. Fantastic, twist the other way, we're almost there. Twist, use the arm as a lever and rotate, look over the other side. Gently release, bring it back to the centre. Swing your feet round to one side, come up onto hands and knees, and then slowly, slowly, slowly bring yourself all the way up to standing. Take your time, unroll to the top, and give your shoulders a nice roll back. Well done, have a lovely day. Woohoo!